Hello everyone and welcome back to Baru Plays The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. So I look at it two ways. We can either do a normal run or we can go ahead and knock out well, the last two challenges that we have for this game. So with it being this close to completion, I'm just going to keep going for challenges and I have a chunk of time to just kind of sit around and do nothing. So guess what we get to do? That's right, we get to do X, 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 L. Oh boy. So what is this challenge? Well, I'll tell you, Jimmy. This challenge is an abomination among any I have ever seen. So imagine an XL floor, all right? Get that in your mind. Now imagine an XL floor that has the absolute maximum, and I mean the maximum of rooms that you can possibly have. All right, you've got that image now? All right, good. Now imagine all of that, but every single floor. Yes, every single floor is an XL floor, but not really. It's basement one, but every room is gigantic. And I, well, I guess every floor is gigantic. And this run is probably going to take a really long time. Now, there's good things and bad things to this challenge. One, you're probably going to die from boredom. Two, good luck finding a secret room without expending like 84 bombs because it can literally be basically anywhere. Like it could have been right there. It's not though. It's not though. Uh, but the good news is, is that because there are so many rooms, you know, you're going to be able to get more resources from clearing things. You know, it's not that hard to make money. If you need to find a few extra cents, there's a very high, almost guaranteed chance you're going to find it because there are so many. Now, there's a slight problem. That problem being, well, finding your item rooms... It takes a little bit of time. It takes just a handful of time. So we're going to be on this floor for a very long time. What we're going to want to try and prioritize in this build, it, assuming the game allows me to actually make a build, is, well, try and get some, sort, some form of clear speed. So we're going to look for high damage, piercing, um... Yeah. High damage, piercing, uh, big room clear. So Tammy's head brimstone would just be like the absolute dream. And I, I took a few hits there, but thankfully this isn't actually an XL floor. And we actually do want to try and get Guppy's tail here because we're going to have a lot. And I do mean a lot of room. So we're going to be able to find keys. We're going to be able to find golden chests. And if we can make Guppy, that'll definitely speed us along a little bit now we can pretty much kiss the, the the boss rush goodbye because this is going to take a while now the good news is this only goes to the heart but it you, you could probably beat the game about five times before this run actually gets finished there is an easy way though we could maybe get the shovel if we found the shovel in a devil deal, then this challenge could maybe be turned around to not be, you know, the longest thing in the world. I mean, look how many rooms I've cleared. I haven't, I just now found my shop and I'm going to have to backtrack as well to find anything else. Uh, so we do have, uh, we had a little bit of a little guy there that we bombed, just got a little bit of money. I would like the PhD. PhD would be pretty valuable to me right now, so I think we're going to try and get that. Yeah, I think we're going to try and get the PhD because better pills is always nice to have. I guess we might as well bomb like every possible entrance for this damn thing, even... <laughs> It's a waste of bombs to try and do that, but I mean, what else am I going to do? Oh, hey. Well, at least we found our... <laughs> oh, and this challenge just really does bring into, into account, like, how awful some of these things really are. And there's no reason to really even pop these until we get... Uh... 
Ooh, growth hormones. Thank you. A little bit of damage here. Uh, there's no reason to really pop these pills until we get the PhD, so we know what we're going to be popping here. And we are going to... I'm going to spend bombs. I'm going to make this PhD happen. If you're going to give me pill generator... <laughs> if you're going to give me pill generator and PhD, I'm going to make this work. Well... I'm going to hopefully make this thing work. We need to find about five cents, and then we can kind of we can kind of put this together, and hopefully it'll. You gave me a soul heart. There we go. I was gonna say you gave me a soul heart. You gave me the rare item. I'm looking for just a penny, and there's one right there to finish it off, so I can go get my PhD. But I can't. I don't have a bomb because I wasted them trying to find the secret room. I don't think I'm ever gonna bomb for the secret room at this point. I think it's I think that's a wasted venture to try and bomb for that because it's it's just asking for trouble. Also, where the hell is my boss? <laughs> I just realized that. We did we went all that way for the shop. So I still don't know. I, I've cleared this many rooms. We're still on basement one. Oh, I'd have to suggest almost doing an edited playthrough of this, but I like to keep my Isaac videos raw, unless I'm doing the loss. I don't know what it is. I just, you know, I've been exper I've been doing a little bit of experimenting with doing more edited videos with the Fallout, but I haven't really gotten to a point to where I'm comfortable doing it with Isaac. Now, I did, you know, get the idea of doing some edited videos from Tears of Grace, but I don't want to come off as like, you know, copying that, so. Oh, good. One makes you smaller. Now I'm tiny, and I found pills. Oh, boy. But I won't ever come off as, like, trying to copy that. Because, you know, it is a very successful series. But I just wanted to have a little fun with it. But I think for the most part, we're going to be keeping our Isaac videos raw. It's, it's something nice that you can just kind of have in the background as we go from room to 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 room. To room clear, accomplishing nothing. All right, we're definitely going to want that battery after we uh, get another pill here. We're going to try and find our tears up pill. That is probably the best. Oh, do we go for the battery or do we go for the stone chest? Well, I guess the better question is, are you going to give me a bomb? And do I throw it into the tinted rock as well? There's just there's so many decisions here. Are you a wizard? That's not a good pill. No, that's that's not a good pill. Oh, thanks for that. Oh my god, we found the boss. Alright. Now, thankfully, it gave me basement. If it decided to give me cellar... Oh god, I can't even imagine trying to finish this off. Now, thankfully, we are getting Steven. So I know, in some way, shape, or form, I'm getting a damage. Either I'm getting it via a follower, or I'm getting it via a personal stat up. But... My clear speed is going slightly up. So that's a good thing with this with this little boss here. So here is hoping that we can actually get uh, the... Oh, hey! Oh my god, we got the Steven with the damage up. That's the ideal one. Now, I don't think I really want to do anything else on this floor. I'd like to start my next 10-minute floor and move on to basement 2. Now... We're going to need to find our bosses, and we're going to need to make sure we don't take any red heart damage, because I need to keep my devil deal intact. I need to keep my devil deal intact. All right. Still can't one-shot spiders yet, so that's a little frustrating. We did get two damage ups, but I'd like to hopefully find Cricket at some point. That way I can have a little bit of a modifier as well. I've got a bomb. We'll save that for a tinted rock. I'd like to get the small rock, if at all possible. So that way when I do eventually find a tears up, I'll get sort of like a, a double tears up effect. So that would be really nice. Oh, a nickel. Oh, thanks. Oh, explosive diarrhea. Well, we can save that at the very least until we find uh, some tinted rocks or maybe some stone chests or something. Speaking of which... How about that? How about a secret room, too? All right. Well, thank you. Cool. There's no way I would have found that normally. So I'll take what I can get and more money. A little bit of luck up. 
luck up is actually extremely valuable in a run like this because uh luck does affect your chance to find items uh at the end of a room so we want as much luck up as we can get which hey you know luck up will turn into more items shopping more items shopping turns into more luck up so they kind of feed into each other pretty well all right before we go find our boss i want to i want to find our item room just in the off chance that something in our item room happened to be in our devil deal or something like that i'm sure there's also a cursed room on this floor but i can't be bothered to check every single room a compass would be highly highly appreciated at this moment in fact we might go find our shop as well before we uh before we venture forth i can only imagine trying to clear to my shop and then only to find greed just sitting in there just laughing at me well, there's a golden poop that I can't do anything with. Can't reach that. All right, tarot card. What do you got for me? High Priestess. Yay. Thanks. Also, Mom's Key would definitely not be a bad investment as well. Another Tinted Rock. Which missed entirely. There. And I get the battery. To give me explosive diarrhea. Oh, these pills. One makes you smaller. Puberty. <laughs> explosive diarrhea. Are you a wizard? This pill pool is just top tier. Let me tell you. It does so many things. Stat up. Not one of them, though. All right. Where did you, where did you hide? Where did you hide the, the, the item room? And the shop? I don't... Oh, good. Oh, goody. Alright. You know, I'm surprised with how many pots and stuff that I've broken and how many tinder rocks I haven't found the damn thing. Super Magnet? I'll pass on that. That's gonna pull everything towards me, and that's usually not a good thing. Also, I want to be thankful for the fact that I, we got basement again, which is really nice. I'm starting to wonder whether or not it was actually worth it to go find my shop and item room first before going into my devil deal because, well, the clear speed from having an, a boss item would have been kind of nice. Balls of steel, well, I'll definitely take it. Mom's contact, well, a nice item isn't going to increase our, our clear speed at all, unfortunately. So that was a bit of a waste there. Bit of a bit of a waste there. Another uh, battery. At least we found our shop, so we can go, hopefully. Hopefully we can find something like a candle. Uh, more options. Just just something that's going to improve my chances here. And little pill baggy. Oh, good. Let's just have nothing but pills. That seems like a great idea, right? I'm going to go ahead and buy it. Oh, luck up. Luck. More luck up. Luck. Well, that actually wasn't so bad. Infested. Infested. That one wasn't so good. But uh, having a luck up pill in my pool actually isn't the worst thing in the world. Because now we're going to have even more luck. Which is nice. That I don't... Oh, okay. I was really confused how those, how those rooms connected to each other. But then I realized, wait. That's a secret room. Right. Uh, but having a luck up pill in my pool is very nice. Like we said, luck up leads to more drops, which leads to more luck up, which leads to good times. So that wasn't actually the worst pickup in the world. That said, we need some clay at speed, and we need it now. We've got pretty decent damage, I gotta say. Pretty, pretty decent damage for, you know, basement two. We've been in this run for about 13 minutes now. We're just now killing our basement two boss. Oh, thank God, the wire coat hanger. Uh, not a very good devil deal, but I'm going to lock in because to hell with being on angel rooms and during this run. Okay, well, before we leave, let's go ahead. Since, you know, every, all of that... Uh, that, that you know, time-based stuff is completely off limits here 
we're going to go ahead and go around, pick up some of the uh, consumables that we couldn't reach previous. And we can gear ourselves up. I don't remember what was down here. Looks like there was a tarot card of some kind. Oh, nope. That was just a pill. Oh, it was a tarot card. But now it's a pill. And it's a balls of steel pill. All right. Well, that's not too terribly bad. I can go back and get the key. I guess. I can go back and get the key and a battery. Maybe I can find some more stuff. I don't know. Another luck up pill. So I've got two luck up pills in my rotation so far. Two balls of steel and two luck up. Some pretty decent tier rate. Uh, above average damage. Flight. Decent health. I'd say this is a pretty good build here. Now, the thing about this challenge is that it's not necessarily the hardest challenge in the world. You're going to be able to pull together, as long as you actually, you know, bleed out a good portion of your floor, you're going to be able to pull together a pretty decent... Okay, okay. Flooded Caves XL. How big is this going to be? This mission, or this challenge is XXXXL. What does that do on an actual XL floor? I'm a little scared. I... Ooh, tears up. Tears. Very nice. I... I don't know if I'm ever going to find my boss. I don't think it's going to happen. I think I'm cursed to... Wow, I found my item room. Nice. I think I'm going to be cursed to wander around forever. Or maybe I'm not. Who knows? Let's see. We've got... Ooh, quad shots. All right. Well, that is definitely something I want to see. A little bit of a... Actually, pretty large DPS up with our tier rate and at its current state here. We do not want the Are You a Wizard pill. And I found my shop as well. Really? You're too kind. <gasps> no, you didn't. Box of friends? Very nice. Except I don't have any friends. I just realized that. I was so happy and then realized, wait a minute. I'm not Eve. This doesn't do a damn thing for me. But I have it. So I guess that's cool. Oh, right. I just realized there's another item room that I need to find at some point. Right. I should go look for that. Well, you know what? I'm going to hold on to the box of friends. I don't know why. I'm, I just... Actually, I should probably go to the pill generator. The box of friends is really not going to do much of anything for me. I just bought it. So I guess bonus here, it's not going to show up again. Downside here, I just wasted 15 cents. But I got more luck up, so who cares? Keep moving. All right. Oh, yeah. With quad shot and this much damage, we're sitting pretty. Right, so it looks like it, our, everything's going to be on the right side here. We've already found our shop, so we really don't have too much to look for outside of our boss and our item room. What's that one? Oh, right. Now I remember. I really want to find, like, some form of guppy already, or a left hand or something, because I'm, I'm getting so many drops, but I can't really... I can't really do much with them, unfortunately. At least our clear speed has increased. And we'll definitely do a challenge room, uh, except not for a great chest. And I think that is the tier rate cap. So that's about as fast as we're going to be able to shoot these tiers up. Yep. So no more tiers up will actually do anything, as we just saw there. We've hit our maximum. So until we start getting tier rate delay, we're not going to be able to shoot any faster, unfortunately. That won't stop me. Oh, bad gas is also in this pool pool? Well, I was hoping for a little bit more than that. Uh, I guess I did get a tears up, so I can't really... You can't really complain when you get a tears up pill. That's usually the, the best thing you can get. And you know what? I'm going to take Bob's brain. Why? So it won't show up again. Because I know if I don't take Bob's brain, the next golden chest or stone chest I open is going to have another Bob's brain in it. And I'm going to go, God damn. What did I do wrong? All right. 
Plus, with, with this kind of a build, it's really not that, you know, bad. Oh, a health uphill. And a luck uphill as well. Very nice. So I think we're getting to the point where pretty much every... It, it'll drop every room. I think we've reached that point. It's just going to drop every single room. And, you know, this floor isn't as big as I originally thought it was going to end up being. So that's kind of interesting. And you know what? We might as well full clear the damn thing. I'm kind of curious how big an XL floor actually is on XXL challenge. I don't think it'll actually be any bigger. Thinking about it now, I think it's actually going to stay the same size because it's already at maximum at maximum size here. So you can't really increase it that much. In fact, I would wager to say, that, yeah, that we're going to find our other item room and our boss relatively quickly here. We've gone through most of the floor and it doesn't get much bigger than this. Or maybe I'm lying and it's actually just going to completely loop around. That's not where the item room door is. Ooh, pinking shears. Yes, gimme. Nice. All right. So pinking shears is pretty nice. It's very, it's a very good boss killer. I'll give it that. It's a very good boss killer. And we've got so much luck up at this point that it doesn't really matter. Ooh, and we're gonna get a, either a ball of bandages or a cube of meat. Very nice. And let's see if we get a devil deal with 33%. We don't, but the good news is, is that the next deal is going to be 100%. So that's a full clear there, but that was two floors. So in this challenge, you want to get as many XL floors as you can because it's going to make the clear speed not as horrendously bad. All right. Let's keep going here. see what we got so we don't we have dank depths one so there won't be any there won't be any skipping of another floor for this one and these these chests really aren't paying out health not doing too well but I'm sure that will end up turning around relatively soon here I'm not too terribly worried about it lazy worm what the hell is lazy worm Shot speed down tremendously, but range up. You know what? I'll hold on to it. Seems all right for now, except I got something better. So goodbye. That was a that was that was a roller coaster of emotions for the lazy worm. Okay, come up here. Now let's see what we have in this. All right, mom's box. Well. This is going to be an interesting run. Very interesting. Especially if we can find a good item. So what Mom's Box does is that it will double the effect of any trinket that you find. So if we can find Cancer, we'll get a double Cancer effect. With Quad Shot, we can turn this Quad Shot into a machine gun. So... If we can get that, our clear speed goes up to the point to where I am extremely happy. And that would be the fastest firing quad shot I have ever seen. So let's make it happen. Because I don't know if there's actually a cap on... I don't think there's a cap on tier delay. I think it just goes until you have them all. So, yeah. Well, I guess that's, I guess that's not entirely true. There is actually a, a cap on it. And oh my god, the left hand. Thank you, mama. All right, let's find Guppy, shall we? And you know what? Take me, mama. Take me. Get me out of this place. I want to go explore elsewhere. So with the left hand, that'll turn all chests into red chests, which hopefully will allow us to find our cat. Which, if we can combine with a cancer trinket that fires at double the double the tier delay, then we're going to have a good time. We're going to have a real good time. I just need to remember to actually come back and, you know, pick up the left hand because I'm not leaving that behind until we are guppy. Well, I guess if we find the cancer trinket, that'll be the only thing I drop it for. 
So I guess it's not that big a deal. Like, you know, mom's pearl, I'm not going to use. See? I'll get soul hearts without it. Alright. I'll get soul hearts without that item. Who needs mom's pearl? Not me. Alright. Ugh, broken remote. That's not going to do me any good there. Now we're going to have to go through the entire trinket pool before we're going to actually find cancer. So yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be an interesting run to say the least. It's going to be a very interesting run and a long one at that. We've been in here for like 20 minutes. I actually got a little bit lucky. When I did this challenge on stream, I managed to get a pretty decent build while at the same time actually getting... Ooh, there's our boss. Uh, I got a pretty decent build while at the same time I managed to also get the... Uh, I can't actually think the name of it now. Uh, the shovel, right. That thing. I got the shovel as well. And that made the run pretty damn fast because you had a build that could actually kill everything while at the same time you had you could, you could just skip the entire floor so i completely bypassed like three to four floors just didn't even touch them so that was pretty beautiful all right so we should get a devil deal here and now we see little steven and good old krampus coming to say hi Good old Krampus. All right. Krampus head. We're going to leave right there because I don't want it. We still have not found our item room, so we are going to look around for that. There's no reason to rush for challenges. I would hate for something bad to happen, and then we end up, you know, having to redo the challenge. Ugh, I can't even think about wanting to redo this challenge. It's already, like, terrible as is. And plus... It gives us more charges for our uh, mom's trinket box thing. So I guess that's kind of cool. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and pop that. The bloody penny. It's not going to do me any good. I found pills. Well, do I have, I have, I found pills, puberty, and all of, oh, dead kitty. There we go. Triple shots. Oh my God. There's so many tears. <laughs> I need to find cancer trinkets now. I'm actually, I'm, you know what? I could just keep going, but now, now I want to find my cancer trinket. I'm on a mission at this point at, to, to find the cancer trinket. With this many tears firing out, I can't not. I can't not try and find it. So I'm going to full clear every floor until we also I want, also I want the uh, left hand procs. But I'm going to full clear everything. Right. And uh, yeah, that is in fact my devil deal. Thank you. Ooh, Guppy's head. Yes, just one more and we make the cat. One more and we make the. Would you look at that? I'm a little kitty cat. I'm a little kitty cat that's in need of some cancer so that I can shoot real fast. All right. Well, the good news is. I have won this run, period. I have, I'm shooting like seven, how many tiers is that? Hold on. Yeah, seven tiers. I actually had to point at the screen and do that, but it, whatever. I'm shooting seven tiers at a very fast tier rate and I'm guppy. So every single hit is spawning seven flies. Oh, the overkill that will happen as soon as I find the item that I need. I don't know which pill. I don't know. That was six. That was bad gas, I believe. I guess the next goal here is to make sure that I don't sporadically die from ramming into things with Bob's brain. Nah, I think we're fine. <laughs> The amount of coverage that you have on a room is ridiculous. Because if you look at that, after it's traveled a little bit, it basically covers the entire room. It's going to hit something. So we talked about having more clear speed. We found it. 
we found the more clear speed. Oh boy. Give me it already. I know you're in here. I don't know what that one does. <laughs> That's funny. This one's just funny. Surprised that we haven't found it yet, but I guess there are more. I thought for sure after those five batteries that we were going to find it. Oh my god, and Cricket too. Well, I guess I did ask for him, but oh. <laughs> and you gave me the mind, so now I know exactly where I'm going. So as soon as we make it, we make a mad dash for the end of the game. I could end it right now, but I'm having too much fun. I'm having far too much fun, and I want the cancer trinket. So it's going to happen. Let's see. More luck up. Luck. Definitely take that. I'm actually happy to find trinkets in chests like that, because that's just one less trinket that I have to worry about. Oh, my and hive mind. Are you kidding me? Is there anything you... And the sun, just in case. Just in case I didn't already know the direction to go. You gave me the sun as well. Oh, this run is something else, let me tell you. I don't even know where to begin with this thing. And there's a cursed room. I guess we'll go check that out. I guess I don't really care about that. Uh, we'll move on here. You think you can outrun me, but you can't. Something will hit you, little ghost. Something will hit you. Alright, so... In addition to all of my flies doing... Or shooting seven tiers and spawning flies, they now do double damage. So I'm basically hitting them with 14 tiers. Every time. And there it is. And there is the beauty, the magic, the machine gun. So now we don't need to worry about anything. We can just, we can basically just face roll our way to the end. So let's, let's go. Shall we? <laughs> oh, I think we have destroyed this challenge. So let's make the two floor, the next two floors as quick as we possibly can. We're currently at 29, 25. I would go so far as to say that we could maybe, we could maybe be on mom by 30 minutes. That's right, 30 seconds. The gauntlet has been, never mind, Skolex. Never mind. Yeah, never mind, it was Skolex. I was like, the gauntlet has been shattered immensely. Wait, what? Uh, what? The, what? How do I hurt you? D what? You D okay? All right. Never mind. Oh my God. Really? Ah, oh, that's just disgusting. Size as well, and you put my boss really close. Uh, well, if it wasn't for Skolex, we probably uh, could have actually done that. Which makes me a little sad, but hey, it's fine. It's whatever. I wanted to add in Hush, but I couldn't. That's the end of the run, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so very much for watching, and I will catch you all in the next one, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, you know, do me a favor, hit that like button. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one, everybody. Later.